with us Geraldine, a past Miss Sri Lanka and she's been in the fashion industry, she's been in the fashion game since she was five years old. Um, talk to me a little bit about today's show, what are you most excited about, what are you looking forward to? Oh, I'm excited to see the new designs because I've been an ex Miss Sri Lanka and model. I just love the new designs because these give inspiration to the old as well so I think that it's a good thing. Oh, absolutely, it's so much opportunity that's created to young designers. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about what you're wearing. You look absolutely stunning, by the way. Well, I can't remember the designer, but it's from London. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, you're rocking it. Thank you so much for oh, being with us you. today. Thank you so much. <laughs> have an amazing okay. evening ahead of you. We have with us Mr. Gerald, who's rocking one of my favorite suits I've seen this season. Talk to me about what you're wearing a little bit. You are absolutely rocking it. My suit is from London. My shoes are from London. <laughs> The t-shirt is from Roma Fall. So you're putting a classic spin yeah, to it. And the hat is from Australia. Um, so you've gone international. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the show today. What are you most excited for? I think the whole show because I, I should say everybody's worked so hard for it. You know, to show their stuff. I think I can't say I'm here to see one person. I think everyone should be given that opportunity. I so agree with you. Thank you so much for being with me Thank tonight. You. I hope you have an amazing evening ahead Thanks of you. Thank, Thank you. you.
have it is Ayanti and Gihan here at the second day of Mercedes Benz Fashion Week. Now, I'm sure you guys are excited for the upcoming show because it is going to be showcasing a lot of emerging designers. Talk to me about what you personally think of Sri Lankan fashion. You know, we've been growing so much, we have so many new designers. What do you think? Do you think we're progressing in a, um, a positive way? I do think Sri Lanka is progressing in a very positive way and taking all sustainability and environmental concerns as well. So that's very impressive. Oh, absolutely. Talk to me a little bit, sir, you um, talk to me a little bit about what you do, first of all, and then share your thoughts with regards to, you know, emerging designers. What do you think Sri Lanka needs to do to go global, to go on the international level? What do you think Sri Lanka needs to add into, uh, you know, list of ingredients or whatnot? So I'm, I'm with MAS Holdings mm -hmm. and really excited about the show today. Uh, we do lots of the top brands in Sri Lanka. So we need more of these things happening. And I think the, the secret sauce for the future is going to be uh, giving our young designers more global exposure. Oh, I absolutely agree with that. Thank you so much for being with us. Both of you look absolutely amazing. I hope you have an amazing show. Thank you for being with us, you guys. We have with us Danny and Wu, and they are here at the second day of Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. And uh, they spoke to me about how this is their first time traveling since COVID restrictions or whatnot. Um, how does it feel like to be in Sri Lanka? Tell me. It feels absolutely amazing. <laughs> You know, it's been, what, almost two years now since COVID restrictions coming from United States, you know, being able to travel internationally, being such an honor for Sri Lanka to be the first international travel. The, the people, the weather, the fashion show, it's like a dream come true. I assure you, for us, it is an honor to have you here with us as well. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your connection with the fashion industry. Uh, what are you wearing? What is your relationship with fashion uh, uh, globally? Oh, I've done a lot of fashion shows, done New York Fashion Week, Fashion Week in Paris, and to do it for the first time in Sri Lanka, amazing. So, honestly, I don't know what I'm wearing. Um, it's a suit, a top, and uh, some jeans, but... but... The only thing that, is, that matters is that it looks absolutely incredible, so, like, it doesn't matter what you're <laughs> wearing. Uh, talk to me a little bit about Sri Lankan fashion. What do you think about Sri Lankan fashion? Do you think there's a lot we need to progress? And do you think up until now the progress we've had is positive? I think it's been a great positive look. I love the fashion, the textiles, the, the, the textures on the fabric itself. Everything looks amazing and I think you guys captured it. This is an amazing show so far. Day two is great. <laughs> I love the colors. I love the colors. I love the texture. I like the flow of the pattern, how it moves with the body. It's you know, embraces Sri Lankan culture, but in a modern way, um, with a little bit of, you know, chic global uh, tie to it. I it. think that that was the precipice of this fashion show, you know, domestic with a touch of international and exactly. contemporary. Oh my God, thank you so much for being with us. It's such an honor to talk to you. It's such a pleasure talking thank to you, you as well. Thank you. Great, thanks for having us, guys.
three icons in the fashion world. We've spoken to a few of them before, but I want to hear your insight. Firstly, tell me your name, your full name and what you do. Uh, I'm Akhil and Aishurya. Aishurya. Uh, we, are, uh, we are founder and CEO of V Fashion Week uh, and we are here in Sri Lanka to find the potential talents, the emerging talents from Mercedes Benz Fashion Week and with the support of Minister Nimal and our partner Mr. Danson Rosero and we are coming from Dubai. Uh, tell me a little bit about you. You look absolutely stunning, by the way. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Windy. So I'm ex, -ex student from AOD. Um, so we've been doing this uh, Mercedes Fashion Week for years now, and uh, it's lovely Fashion Week. I mean, you know, we get uh, our students get a lot of uh, experience in here, at, in especially foreign exposure from mm -hmm. here. So yeah, right now I'm into my own brand and uh, I'm also working in Dubai, exporting my clothes to Dubai and online as well. Amazing. Uh, talk to me a little bit about fashion in Sri Lanka. You know, you support a lot of young designers and you help elevate their fashion. Talk to me a little bit about that. Actually, uh, initially we, when we had the discussion with the Minister, Mr. Nimal and Mr. Mr. Danson Rosero, both of them asked us, okay, why don't you go to uh, Sri Lanka and you know, find the emerging talents and do V Fashion Week in Sri Lanka. That's why we are here in Sri Lanka and you know, you are here actually, <laughs> the media support, of course, actually that's what we need actually. And we are bringing talents from across the globe. Actually, we find it actually uh, Sri Lanka as a potential market for them to start their production, manufacturing. And we take the emerging talents from Sri Lanka to Dubai and, you know, different parts of other countries, actually, in the uh, fashion industry to explore the international fashion market. Oh, that all sounds absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see V Fashion Week in Sri Lanka. Hopefully in the future, hopefully that happens. Thank you so much for being with me, you guys. Thank you so much for Thank talking. You. Have an amazing evening ahead of you. We have with us none other than the gorgeous Miss Amrita and she's here tonight and she's super excited for the show. Tell me what are you excited for the most? I know you, you, you are an advocate for young talent, emerging talent and tell me how this show is going to you know, push that forward in Sri Lanka. I think it's going to push it forward because the arts and crafts they use and the things that they are taught will help not only um, their design but the country, the artisans and things like that. Oh, I, c I completely agree with you. I'm super excited to see all of the young talent. Tell me, Sri Lankan fashion industry, do you think we've progressed uh, quite a lot? And in, if so, what improvements could be made in the Sri Lankan fashion industry? Yeah, I think definitely if you look at the emerging talent, there's a lots of talent coming up. I think what we need to no do now is attract new markets and expand to new markets, a wide audience. Oh, that's so insightful. Thank you so much for being with My me. Pleasure. It's such a pleasure talking Thank to you. you. We have it as a student of AOD and what caught my eye was that she is a student of animation which is something that we are super excited about. It is the way forward for young designers in Sri Lanka. Talk to me a little bit about what you do here at AOD. Right, so I'm a motion graphics and animation student. I focus on anything based in animation from 2D to 3D. I also do illustration work, branding work also graphic design work. The best thing I love about my field is that it's so versatile. I can work in almost any area of any industry, whether it's from production to advertising, and the opportunities are so endless when it comes to my field. Oh, I can imagine it is such a versatile field. I just hope, you know, everything goes well for you in the future. You do have such a bright future ahead of you. So good luck with everything, okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much.